okay guys we'll be looking at how to do switching and routing basic configurations um i have my packet tracer that's what i'll be using so you can see i have it open and um if you click on network device then you can have what's routers and then switches so i'll be selecting this router so i'll rename it as in t our t1 then i'll click on switches and then i'll rename this as as w1 so i have these two here now before uh, i connect my cable i have something to show you so when you on in the real world okay i have some pictures i've downloaded now when you double when you look at this picture we have this uh, two connectors uh, we have the rg45 and the serial connection now the serial connection goes to the pc or the desktop and then we have the rg45 going to the console ports now because when you buy a cisco switch or router how do you connect it even if you connect cable you can have access to the interface so you need to use these console cables to connect to it so you have the serial going to the pc or laptop or yeah any of them then we have the rg45 going to the console port then we have the usb connection as well you have this going to your pc then you have this going to the console port as well so this is a picture of the console port this is how it looks like okay now with that let's get to the uh, packet tracer interface now since i'll be using my console connections i'll need a pc so basically it's going to be a laptop so I have a laptop sorry laptop one and then laptop two because i'll be using two different connections for the console all right so when i get to my connections i have console and then i have usb now when i click on console and i click on the laptop you can see i have rs232 that's the serial connections so this is what i'll have to click and then connect to my uh, router you can see i have console and i have usb we'll be looking at both so i'll connect to console because i'm connecting towards the serial connection now this is my usb let me connect my usb cable so on laptop 2 this is not a serial connection so i can't use this it's a usb so i'll click on usb any of them will do usb then on my switch you can see i have usb console and i have console so i'll click on what usb console because i'm using usb cable now by default this switch don't have power so i need to give it power like in the real world so i need to power this device up so it's up now in the real world when you connect your cable as i've shown you to your pc and then the device under the router on the switch you need a software called putty which you need to download right now you can just google putty download okay when you click here right and then you go to download 
yes let's see download okay i think this is not it let me go back uh let me see okay let me try this sure okay this will do so i can just click here you can see 64 bits that's 86 so um, i have a 64 bits so you can see it's downloaded now what i have to let me minimize this what i have to do is i have to uh, i have to install so so i can just go to my downloads this is you have to download it again so i can just double click this and then yes run next next so this is our set the entire device good so next okay I don't want to do read me so if you want to do read me you can so now i can minimize it so you can see i'll install my 40. now let me bring back my packet tracer now to connect to it when i click on the laptop one and i go to desktop i have some services or application already provided for me for my packet tracer i have the command prompt and i have the terminal now command prompt is just for normal command prompt and then the terminal is where you have to connect when you are using what a console cable so look at this interface you just look at what it just look like the putty interface so let's look at the putty interface the row connection so let's assume i've connect my cable to this very pc that i'm on if i should open my putty now look at it this is uh my putty interface now when i click on this interface okay this is for telnet now you can see i have ssh syria so when i click on syria then you can see i have what 9600 right com port one so this is where i'll click and then when i go for okay then i'll be able to connect this i don't have any connection for now so let me just go back to my uh, packet tracer so on my terminal you can see it's the same it'll look like the same as what the putty software so when i click on okay so you can see now i'm in i'm on the router's interface so here i can do my basic configurations so same applies to if i should uh, click on laptop 2 with the usb connection desktop terminal okay so you can see same as this so this is how to connect uh, to the device when it's new from box or when it's new no configurations how to connect to it to do what basic configurations this is how to connect to it and then i'll continue with another video which will be doing what the basic configurations on the devices thank you so much see you on the next video